Hi, my name is Mike Lapitan. Thanks for joining our video, Ease of Installing a Historian. We'll talk about what is a historian and how to install a historian, and we'll do this all in only a few minutes. One of our historian is a centralized repository for all your plant data, allows anybody to easily access plant information to improve your process. One of our historians, the market leading historian, works with any PLC, can be deployed, gathering data in less than a day, uses Microsoft SQL Server, includes an add-in to Excel, allows you to start small and grow over time. People use the one to our historian to lower plant operating costs, allows them to get the most out of their plant equipment and to quickly troubleshoot, process upsets, improve quality, and satisfy reporting needs. The first three steps in installing a historian is to install Microsoft SQL Server, which is included with the one to our historian, and there's a tech note that walks you through step-by-step -step how to install Microsoft SQL Server. You don't need to know anything about databases. The next step is to install the WonderWare DVD and install the historian and historian client. I'll show you some screenshots of what that looks like. Last step is to import tags from InTouch, or if you don't have InTouch, you can use whatever PLC you want to collect data from. So after you install the WonderWare DVD or download the software to install, you double click on setup, install the prerequisites, select historian and historian client as the products to install, accept the end user license agreement, Fill in an administrator account that you want to administer the historian with, or you can uh, create a new Windows administrator account from the screen. And lastly, click configure to configure the one to our historian. Once you reboot, you can then import InTouch tags and use Trend in Excel to retrieve the data. That's what we'll do next. Here I'm, in, I'm inside the one to our historian, you can see, and I'm going to right click on configuration editor and I'm going to click import tags. I'm going to click next on the tag import wizard. And you can see you can add a new uh, InTouch application or I'm going to just click re-import so that I can walk you through the steps that have already been done. So what I would do is I would enter the computer name that InTouch is running on and I would enter the directory of where my InTouch folder is that I'd like to import my tags from. So you can see my InTouch application is called dollar sign react demo. Uh, this is where I can add a uniqueness string if I'd like to add a prefix or a suffix to the tag name. In most cases, people just check the box for bypass uniqueness string. This is a great tool for filtering which tags you want to import from your InTouch application. So if I check the box for all logged only, that's only going to import my InTouch tags that I've checked for log data. So inside InTouch Window Maker, next to each tag, there's a checkbox for log data. This is how I can manage which tags I import into the historian. And lastly, use the default for uh, Delta storage. That is how the one or historian stores the data on change. It's very efficient. Click finish. It'll tell you how many tags have been imported. And in this case, there's nine. And I would right click then on configuration editor and click commit pending changes. Now I can log into trend to see my data. The first time you log into Trend, you need to go to Tools and Servers to add the historian computer name. In this case, it's just localhost, and you would click Add to add that historian. And now you can click on that historian computer name and go search for the tags that you'd like to see. Double click on them, and now we're trending live data and can go back in time to history to troubleshoot a process upset, understand our process better, improve the efficiency of our process. And we can add multiple tags, have them overlaid or stacked, and choose longer durations of time if we'd like. Now if I'd like to get that data in Excel, I can simply open up Excel. I have an, a historian menu right inside of Excel. I can come to tag selection. Just like in Trend, I can browse for the tags I'd like to report off of and I'll just select React Level, and I'll put that tag in cell A1, and come to Tag Values, and I'll do a History Values Retrieval. So I'm going to select the cell that has my tag name, that's cell A1. I'm going to select the cell I'd like to put my data in, I'll put that in B3. And under Retrieval, you can see there's many ways to retrieve time series data. The historian lets you do that very easily. In this case, we're going to retrieve the data every minute. So I'm going to choose cyclic retrieval and type in one minute. And I can look at the data every minute, starting at any point in time I was storing history for to any end time. In this case, I'll just look at the last 10 minutes, click finish. Now my data is in Excel. I've got it evenly spaced every minute. 
I can use this data however, uh, however I need to inside of Excel now. I'd like to thank you for attending our Ease of Installing Historian video. If you have any questions, please contact us at 866-WONDERN or at webinar at norcal.wonderware.com. Thank you.